Strange Tales from a Chinese Studio. Looking for something to read for Halloween? May I recommend Strange Tales from a Chinese Studio or Liao Zhai Zhi Yi to you? Published in 1740, it is a well-known Qing Dynasty novel. Legend has it that the author Pu Songling set up a roadside tea stand and exchanged cups of tea for stories from travelers to put into the book. There's a total of 491 short stories in Strange Tales from a Chinese Studio, which can be roughly broken down into three categories. One. Stories that will fit under the supernatural romance genre of today. These tend to be the most well-known stories. Two stories attacking the state of the imperial exam. The author himself is a failed examinee. Three stories that reflect on social issues of the day, such as corruption in the government and oppression of the average person. Two of the most well-known stories from the book. Had been adapted into movies. 1987's *Xian Nu Yu Hun*, a Chinese ghost story based on the story *Nie Xiao Qian*, and 2008's *Hua Pi: Painted Skin*, based on the story of the same name. But this is a book recommendation, so I suggest you read the stories first before watching the films. Lastly, I wanted to talk about. The genre that *Strange Tales* from a Chinese studio falls into, because the genre is an old one, is called *zhi guai xiao shuo* in Chinese, and its origins can be traced back to the Han Dynasty. The genre name basically translates to *Tales of the Strange*. Novels in this genre are mostly collections of stories regarding supernatural phenomena or strange things. That can't be explained with common knowledge. Things today that will fall under the genre would be things like urban legends and internet creepy pasta. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Happy Halloween.